Evelyn Normar. It's a fascinating letter because she told us that she wanted to meet somebody very, very special. She wanted to send someone home. Now, she jogs. She jogs a lot. She jogs rather well. That's all part of it. So I went down to Clacton, and there's a reason for that, to find out more. Oh, hello, Evelyn. Hello, Tommy. It's colder than it looks this morning, isn't it? Oh. How often do you run? How often do you go out? I go every Sunday morning. Yeah? So how many miles do you do a week, roughly? About four or five a week. About four or five miles a week? more during the holidays. Yeah, OK, when you've got time. And you recently, um, you recently won a race, didn't you? How long was... I what, did. what distance was that? That was a quarter marathon of seven and a half miles. Quarter, seven and a half miles. Yeah. And what was your time? I did it in 57 minutes. Right. Now, the thing is this. She did this for a very special reason, didn't you? I did. Right. And you're going to be doing another run, again, to raise yes. money for a very special reason. Now, what is that, without giving the whole game away? I'm raising money for someone very special. Someone very special. And the idea is, the yeah. money I raise will help them get back home again. You want to send somebody back home? Yes. They haven't met him, have you? I haven't, no. Really. Right, let's go and say hello to him, shall we? Come on, I'll race you. How old is he, anyway? He's five years old now. Five? Yeah. After you. Right. Two, please. Come to meet someone special. Let's go. Come and say hello. Come on, kneel down. Come here. Come here. Come here. This is Evelyn. Say hello. Oh, it's really smooth. I don't know what it means, the butt. I don't know what it means. He can hear you better if you touch him and talk to him because the sound travels better like that, you see? And he can hear you much better if you've got your hand on him. <coughs> yeah, exactly. Can you smell his breath? Can you smell his breath? It's horrible. <laughs> can we see in your mouth? Because that's interesting. How about it? How about a look in the gob? Huh? Huh? How about a look in the gob? Look at that. Does he, does he like his tongue tickled? He's got a lot of power in there, hasn't he? And the tongue, look at the tongue. All pink and huge. He has to turn on his side so that his eye can actually look at you. Can you see him looking at us? He's great. He's absolutely fantastic. Peter, he really is honestly the friendliest I've ever, I've ever come across. This is down to you. He's very well trained. Can you put him through some of his paces for us? Yeah, sure. Okay. Evelyn, you said you wanted to send Nemo home. What's this all about? Well, Nemo was captured about three years ago and taken to Clacton. And since then, he's grown a lot, and it's just too big for his pool. So Greenpeace are trying to raise enough money to buy him and help him get home again. Amazing animals killer whales. They can grow twice as big as Nemo that we see here, who's only about five. Maybe even bigger than that. Maybe they can go three times as big. And they live mainly in cold waters. You might just be very lucky and see one in the wild off the coast of Scotland. They're getting very close to the coast to have their babies. But the thing about them is that they tend to live in schools. That's to say, large numbers of them, all living and hunting together. They're quite ferocious. They eat sea lions, seals, I should say, uh, dolphins, it's said, penguins, grey whales, which grow 60 feet long, and there are even stories about them eating polar bears, but you never know quite how much that's just fisherman's legend. Even it was a marvellous day that we had down there, Fantastic, wasn't it? Yes. And it was splendid to see, I thought as well, how well he was being looked after by Peter, who's a smashing trainer. Yes. But there is this problem, which is that he's simply getting too big for that, that pool. Yes. Now, what are your feelings like? Because what we saw on that piece there of Evelyn's first meeting with Nima, I promise you that really was 
her very first first moment of meeting. What, what were your feelings like? It's very awe-inspiring. He's very powerful, very mm. majestic. Mm -hmm. He was very, very gentle. He was laying on his back, and I could tickle his tongue. He didn't mind. Mm. And what about driving home in the car afterwards? Did you did you chat? She came down with your mum. Did you yeah. did you chat about the business of putting Nemo back into the sea? Because it turned out it looked to me to be pretty complicated business. It will be difficult, but we really want him to go back now. Right. I'm sure he'd like it in the freedom. All right. Okay. And uh, I gather from the organise the organisation who are trying to raise the money to send Nemo back, they've sent you a. Uh, Freedom Share Certificate for your £19.75 that you did in that sponsored run. Yes. And you're going to do another one? Yes, definitely. Well, well done on that. And thanks for giving me a chance to get to know a killer work. Something, sort of thing I'm very interested in. I thought you might like to see what happened at the end of the day. We decided that was it and Evelyn was, was off home. And I said to the trainer, would it be all right if I just got to know him a little bit, uh, a little bit better? And the trainer said, fine, that'll be all right. And they kept the cameras rolling. So take a look at this. I think you'll find this quite interesting. What happened was uh, the trainer said, OK, there's, there's one trick that you can do. Looks daft, but it helps you get to know the animal. He simply gives you a ride and, and you stand on him. Well, I wasn't sure whether swimming with a killer whale was going to be a good idea. But as you're about to see in the end, I didn't have very much choice. thing about orcas, yes, Peter thought it was very, very funny indeed. The thing about orcas is once they get you in the water, you're the best toy they could possibly have. So they don't let you get out again. Now, I knew about this. Look at this. This isn't anything that he's been trained to do. He's just treat treating me like a beach ball. And every time I swam to the side, because it was very cold in there, he wouldn't have it. How long does it keep you out It's not new, is it? They like it. I could be...